Drugs. What's wrong with them? I want them. But hold on. Let, let's go back to the 80s and 90s when everyone fucking ever was telling me not to do them. Because then maybe I'll change my mind. After all, we know how impartial these advertisements were. Marijuana, pot, grass, whatever you want to call it, is probably the most dangerous drug in the United States and we haven't begun to find out all of the ill effects. These are just so funny and I was just looking at some of them and some of them are so ridiculous that I just gotta give it a whirl. Let's go, let's see, what's, no, what's number one on the list here? I get angry just thinking about it, it makes me mad. Little kids doing drugs, it turns my stomach. Mr. T, are you bleeding? You all right? Get a Band-Aid for you? It hurts the user. It hurts his family. Okay, I'm good. And it hurts just back his friends. Up. We're good, man. I just want to shake some sense into you. Go. Shake some sense into you kids. I'm not a kid. I'm 26. So remember, don't or else. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You make you make a good point. I don't like the smile. I was good up till the smile. If you're gonna hurt me, hurt me. Don't have me thinking about this ten years later in the therapist's office. This is the classic. This is your brain. No, it's not. And this is heroin. No, it's not. It's an egg in a pan. This is what happens to your brain. No, that's what happens when you smash a, a egg with a pan. It's your family goes through. Oh, not the dishes. The, oh, the clock. How are we going to know what time it is? You didn't have to do any of that. You chose to do that. Drugs can get you in big trouble. You could go to principal's office or go to jail. That's a pretty big jump between those two. You can't watch TV or eat pizza. I'm out. No pizza, can't watch TV, can't eat pizza, go to jail, can't eat pizza, won't do them. Recess is good. Hamsters are good. Hamsters are good. Hamsters are good? How does this... Penny, you're getting off track. Drugs are bad. I wouldn't do drugs. Who's more dead? Who's more dead inside? That's the game I play. Hey, that's me. This kid died from using illegal drugs. Are you allowed to be in here? And this kid died from using prescription drugs. Who's more dead? Is he gonna ask who's more dead? Which one's more dead? This is the deadest <laughs> I've ever seen. You just fucking walk into a graveyard. This guy died from a bullet. This guy, he fell down the stairs. Which one of them is deader? You better answer this. That better, that's not a rhetorical question. That's not a rhetorical question. You have to answer that question when you go into that kind of territory. I'm mad. Let me introduce my men. You know them all. There's crawling on the ground, no. man. No, no. Looking through binoculars, no, no. man. Sergeant, we're smoking a cigarette man. He's gone. Last night, Billy burned him with a match. A message from Rat. Reject all tobacco. Take it from Terrence. You better tell somebody. I wasn't sold till the rat. I wasn't sold till then. But when that came on, boy, gosh darn it, I want to throw out all my marijuana leaves in the, the big old trash can. Hey, what about me? Give her some. Yeah, give me some. All right, all right. You want meth, kid? Here's your meth. And here's your meth dealer. And your meth boyfriends. And here's your meth mom. And your meth dad. And your meth CPA and your meth boyfriends. <laughs> meth boyfriend, please, take a step back, okay? Understand the personal bubble. And your meth baby. <laughs> meth baby? I'll never get over meth baby. As long as I live, I'll never unsee meth baby. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this kid, this gotta come to an end soon. Don't forget your meth face. I like how the meth face is more important than the meth baby. Just wanna point that out. Priority's a little messed up here, but then again, they are on meth. It's called Smoking Dog. It can't be bad. This dog is cool as ice. Bennett! Bennett, dinner! I'm smoking! That's how the dog talks. He talks like a person, just like he smokes like a person. What is going on in this? 
<laughs> like she just gave up. She's just like defeated. He's gonna be out there smoking. He wants to kill himself. Fine, you be out there, but you stay out there, dog. Hey, I'm a dog. What's your excuse? Not all dogs. Excuse me. Hashtag not all dogs. Thanks. Some dogs these days think they can put us all to a box. I'm Michael Jordan. Hi, Michael Jordan. McDonald's restaurants have given me this time to talk Why did to you. it have to be McDonald's who gave you this opportunity? It was just a camera and a background and you're in a suit. McDonald's restaurants have given me this time to talk to you about something we both really care about. Kids. Kids and McDonald's boys, girls, the education, children, McDonald's, Chicken McNugget. You can just about be anything you want to be. Listen. I love I love the cut. I love how I couldn't. This is just I love this is basically rambling. Listen. I was already listening, Michael. I was already with you. But don't blow it. Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. And definitely eat biggest Big Mac, large size, biggest one. Get a small fries with it. No harm. Just a small fries. McDonald's wants you to give yourself a chance. And so do I. Is it really called Ghoul? Yeah. Okay, this one's just called Ghoul. They come to my place. Ghoul. For a little. Ghoul. You'll like my friends. They're good listeners. Are they ghouls? <laughs> Bill here is 16. Was. Unless he's alive in there, just sleeping. One of those little Japanese sleep hotels. So join the party. Ghoul. Try crack. Ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> what was ghoul about that? Nothing about that was ghoul. D weird guy. It's called weird guy. I don't know about ghoul. I didn't see a single. Well, hold on. There's still a second left of this. Let me check for ghoul. No ghoul. No ghoul in this. This one is false advertising. I wanted to be scared by a fucking ghoul. Hey, you ever thought about taking drugs? Oh, I never really thought about it. I don't think any of you guys need any more drugs. Looks like you've done all the drugs needed. Think hard. But you find me when you need more. Come on, kids. Don't you want to bite on one of these babies? Nah, this drug's not worth the time. <laughs> what the fuck? Can we go back for a second? What exactly is the moral here? Don't buy drugs from secret monster men? A good point advertisement, thank you. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Once again, folks, I I'm out. I'm out already on this one. I can't go farther than that. I got one eighth of a monkey turn, that's it. That's all I can handle. Now, Scott, I understand you just bought 15 of our surfing monkey bangs. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Is this trying to, I feel like this, this makes me want to smoke marijuana. How, what's the, what did he bought 15? He bought 15? Okay, let's let's calculate that out. Let's get out the calculator really quick. $363. I mean, what's that? Three tickets to Disneyland? You get that much fun out of a, of a monkey surfboard piggy bank. God bless you. God bless you. I didn't call myself a farter. Well, that's probably a good thing. I don't know if you want to go around doing that, calling yourself that. In my head, I was a social farter. I only farted occasionally. I'm getting, I'm getting uncomfortable. I don't really like this. Can we turn this one off? And my boyfriend called me out on it. And good on him. He's taking it right where it matters. I even woke up in the morning craving a fart. Nice one, guys. Sick allegory. You slipped it right in. I can't believe how smart you were for writing that. Just changed farting to smoking, and it's done. Tobacco companies lost all their shares. You did it! You've done it! Sick, dude. Getting fat rips. <laughs> She's like, not again. He's smoking. Not again, an alien's coming while my boyfriend's smoking weed. Not again! An alien's coming up to me again, got a weird potato face. It always happens. Just trying to have a good day. Whoa, shit, dude. That alien just stole that dude's chick. That is one pimping alien. Not again. <laughs> and she's gone. Don't let aliens steal your girlfriend from smoking weed, kids. Wow, real great, man. Real sick. Nice weed. Wow. 
What are you doing? Smoking this grass, smoking this harsh grass. What is your disgrace? I just got here. I don't even know anything. What, is, what even is weed? Come on, get with me, girl. This guy's a loser. <laughs> See ya, dude. You suck. See ya. You seriously suck, dude. <laughs> I'm Captain Lou Albano. Wasn't expecting that. Anyone that asks you to use drugs is not your friend. Drugs can and will kill. But Mario, you's always eating the mushrooms. Get it? Remember, don't be afraid to turn to your priest, your rabbi, your minister, your moms, your dads, your teachers, because drugs can kill. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Mario, you're scarring the kids for life here. You just tell me I'm gonna go to actual hell before I die? I just wanna jump on the Goombas, Mario. I just wanna ride the Yoshi. I guess he was really affected by Luigi's fatal drug addiction. Mario, it's me, Luigi. Why, I just can't stop eating the mushrooms. Um, it's just a funny show. I'm such a great, funny, funny fucking guy. Go to hell. Pablo, the, is this the real name? Pablo, the mule dog. Show me. Hello. What? Turns out I've been used to smuggle cocaine into the country. Don't make a drug PSA about this. This this doesn't make me want to not do drugs. This makes me sad for Pablo, who a bunch of Mexicans shoved cocaine into. That's what's making me want. Which does rather prompt the question, what's the big deal? You should be dead, ghoul dog. Stay dead! I went to this nasty toilet and this girl asked me... Did you spare us a tenner? Uh, no, I'm, I'm a dog. And I cooked up friend and no help at all. And look who we have here, a bleeding nostril. Perfect. I'm bleeding! Well done, yes you are. So I picked up the phone, somehow, and talked to Frank. There's a darker side to coke. To find out more, visit talktofrank.com. Hi, I'm John. And after watching Pablo the Mule Dog be stuffed with handfuls and handfuls of cocaine, I've come here, me and McDonald's have come here to tell you what we know to truly be important. The family, the Big Mac, the Mac Nuggets. Come on down, grab just a four pack, four piece Mac Nuggets from, from God's green soil itself. Grown from our, straight from McDonald Farms, $1.99 only, two piece chicken Mac Nuggets, one for to get for free. Listen, if you're doing drugs, stop it. Or else Mr. T's gonna come shake all that loose change right out of your pockets. How are you gonna get a six piece chicken Mac Nuggets then? Reopen that 9-11 investigation. What really happened there? You just gotta know the facts. Just re just reopen it. Take a look. Never know what's gonna be inside. That's me, John. See you later. The time is now for strong leadership. Reagan for president. This episode was sponsored by Loot Crate. If you don't know what they are, they're a monthly subscription box service for pop culture gear and gamer items. For less than $20 a month, you get six to eight items that include licensed gear, apparel, collectibles, unique one-of-a-kind items, and more. You have until the 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific to subscribe and receive that month's crate, and when the cutoff happens, that's it, it's over. Sign up at my specialized link, lootcrate.com slash JonTron, and enter code, wait for it, JonTron, and save 10% on any new subscription. December's theme is revolution. You can get such wonderful items as Overwatch Reaper guy, Titanfall shirt, glove of Sonic, band-aid for when I break my heart again. Works perfect.
Yeah, 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 yeah